Hey everybody, it's Kate and it's day 7 of Vita and we're talking about our Myers-Briggs personality types. Fun fact, I'm neither an introvert nor an extrovert. Every time I take this test, I come out either way, it just depends, and I'm always within like 5% of one or the other. Like, I got today, I took it, and I got 1% extrovert. I enjoy being by myself, but I also enjoy being with groups. And I feel like I get the same amount of energy from both, and I get the same amount of draining from both. Like, whenever I'm doing one, I really want to be doing the other. So it's really interesting. That at least rings true for me. The rest of my personality type, I'm an ESFJ. So the rest is sensing, feeling, judging. And I guess those make sense. I'm really not too strong in any of them. They're all like moderate. I think I got like 22% in sensing. I think feeling is the one where I get like 50%. But those like individually, I guess they make a little bit of sense, but none of them are like, yes, I absolutely agree. This describes me perfectly. However, if I take that all as one thing, like when they describe an, a personality type, like the combination, spot on. An ESFJ is called the caregiver. That's all I do. If you don't know me that well, and I don't know if many of you know this about me anyway, I love to take care of other people. I give, I do things for everybody without expecting anything in return, like honestly, I don't. And so it's really interesting to get the description of this because it matches me perfectly. They say things like they love to take care of other people, they love to throw parties and be a host and entertain and like provide for other people. It's really interesting. So on that point, yes, I really, when I read the descriptions, I'm like, that's totally me. Absolutely. One of the letters in my in my personality type is one that I don't see a lot often. I don't remember which one it is. It might be sensing. But like I feel like I see maybe it might be sensing because I think I see a lot of Ns as opposed to S's. So it'd be really interesting to see if anybody else is an S or an ESFJ because I wanna know who else is like me. So I hope you all had fun learning about this. Every time I take it I enjoy myself, so I will hopefully catch up. I've been saying that every day, and it hasn't been happening. So if I haven't been watching your videos, I'm really sorry. I really don't think I'm ever going to catch up. Work is just too hard. But I love all your faces anyway, and I will see everybody tomorrow. Bye!